Hello, Girl Scouts. Welcome to our Girl Scout Friendship Magic Party. Are you guys ready to have a great time? I'm very excited. I'm very excited, you guys. Okay, my name is Avocado, and I am here with my eight senior Girl Scout sisters from my troop. And we are all so thrilled that you have chosen to spend St. Patrick's Day with us. This Girl Scout Friendship Magic Party is all about celebrating St. Patrick's Day while completing the many steps towards the Friendship Magic Badge. The Friendship Magic Badge is a required troops own badge, which continues to be produced by Treasure Hunters badges, also known as Artistry to Stitch About. By the end of this party, we will have earned the special badge. Yay! By the way, you guys all look so ready for the party, all in green, all festive. It looks amazing. As you can see, I'm also wearing some of my favorite green attire. I even have a little headband on. And I've been waiting for this party all week. It's always important to start every Girl Scout event with the Girl Scout promise and law. So it is time for me to introduce you to my good friend, Candyland. Hello girls, happy St. Patrick's Day a few days early. My name is Candyland and I am so excited that you chose to celebrate the St. Patrick's Day holiday with us. In true Girl Scout tradition and fashion, we are going to recite the Girl Scout promise and law. Let's do it together. Please raise your right hand and your middle three fingers with me. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authorities, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. That was great. Thank you for joining me. Okay, my magical friends, it is time for me to hand you off to my friend, Papaya. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Papaya, and I have the great honor of leading you through the Pledge of Allegiance. Please see the flag on the screen and put your right hand over your heart and join me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. That was great. Thank you for joining me. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend, Pineapple. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Pineapple and it is my responsibility to share with you the event rules. Most of the rules are found in the Girl Scout promise and law we just recited. Please respect yourself and others during this session and everyone should have a great time while learning a lot and earning your friendship magic badge. Rule one is to have an adult with you the entire time. You should not be participating in this event without a safe adult nearby. Rule two is to please use the Zoom chat feature if you have any questions. If you have a question, you may send a direct message to our Girl Scout leader, who is the admin or moderator. Rule three is to put your Zoom on speaker mode. This will allow you to better see the instruction during the event. You should do that now. Rule four, get to know your reaction buttons. We will ask you for a thumbs up during several parts of the session. Using your reaction button, show me your thumbs up. Also, we will ask you to use your raised hand function if you need us to slow down. Using your reaction buttons, show me your raised hand. Rule five is to please change your Zoom name to your camp name or your favorite candy plus your state. For example, my name is Pineapple California. I could also be Skittles California since that is my favorite candy. This is to protect your privacy. You can go ahead and do that now. Rule six is to let your family and anyone in your house know when you have your Zoom video on. This event will be, re will be recorded and we will be taking pictures and screenshots as indicated in the invitation. If you do not want your picture shared, please turn off your Zoom video camera. Rule seven is to, is you, if you, 
is you may leave to use the restroom if you need to. You do not need to ask. Rule eight is if you don't know what materials we are using, look in the Zoom chat or look for information via screen sharing. Rule nine is to learn a lot and have fun. Thank you for listening. Okay, my magical friends, it is time for you to hand it is time for me to hand you off to my friend Coconut. Hello, my magical friends. My name's Coconut. Or Coconut California, since we all changed our Zoom chat names to protect our privacy. As Avocado mentioned, during this Girl Scout Friendship Magic Party, we'll earn our Friendship Magic Badge while celebrating all things St. Patrick's Day. This troop's own badge has requirements similar to badges offered by Girl Scouts USA. Once you earn it, you can put it right on your vest. I think it's really cute, and I hope you do too. As you can see, there are different badges for daisies, brownies, juniors, and older girls too. I can't wait to put this on my vest. Let's explore some of the things that we're going to be doing today to earn our badge. Number one, attend a party. We're all here, so we've already finished this step. Number two, dress the part. Look at all of us in green. I think we've done this too. Step number three, learn all about St. Patrick's Day. Step number four, explore friendship, what friendship is and what makes it magical. Number five, what elements make friendship magic powerful? Number six, create a themed craft. Number seven, share a snack together. Number eight, assist a friend. And number nine, share a song. We sure have a lot to do. I'm excited. Are you? Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to be here. Wonderful, that's a lot of excited girls. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to Avocado. Hello, girls. Um, I have to move into the other room so we can do some very fun activities. Okay. Let me set you down real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, here it is. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Um, well, I'll go with this first. Okay. Are you guys oh oh one second? Okay. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Avocado. Who here knows the history of St. Patrick's Day? Will you guys give me a thumbs up if you do? So far we only have one thumbs up. Ooh, we're getting a lot more thumbs up. That's great. Wonderful. Well, St. Patrick's Day is a celebration of a saint named Patrick. And Patrick was a missionary who is now considered the patron saint of Ireland. In the United States, the day generally celebrates Irish American culture and heritage. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated each year on March 17th. However, today we are celebrating a little bit early so we can do it on a Saturday. Who here celebrates St. Patrick's Day? Well, it is also celebrated in Ireland by, and by Irish people all over the world. Many non-Irish people join in in these celebrations as well, especially in the United States. Essentially, anyone who wants to celebrate can. It's wonderful. There are a number of traditions that, and ways to celebrate on this day. There are festivals and parades in many cities throughout the world. You may have heard about the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The first St. Patrick's Day Parade was held on March 17, 1762 in New York City. Now, New York hosts the biggest St. Patrick's Day Parade each year, and it attracts over 2 million people. That is a lot of people. Please give me a thumbs up if you either live in New York or have been to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York. Let's see. Anyone? Okay, a few. That's awesome. So other cities also have big celebrations as well. The city of Chicago dyes the Chicago River green each year. Can you believe that? Now, give me a thumbs up if you either live 
in Illinois or you um or Chicago either way or you've been to the Chicago River when it's green let's see couple this is awesome wonderful yes that's so fun okay so other fun traditions of the holiday include the shamrock which is a three leafed clover plant irish music as we listened to as we entered the event leprechauns and eating cornbread and cabbage which is super delicious we're going to explore a lot of these things today here's a fun fact about saint patrick's day saint patrick's day was named the friendliest day of the year by the guinness world book Guinness Book of World Records. Isn't that interesting? The main way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day is to wear green. And look at all of you, many of you are wearing green and that's wonderful. Green is the main color and symbol of the day. People not only wear green, but sometimes they dye their food green, like hot dogs, green cookies, green bread, green eggs, you know, and green drinks. Are you ready to make a leprechaun treat. I'm gonna put you over here. Perfect. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to make a leprechaun treat. Okay. You lots of thumbs ups. Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna help you. <laughs> See how some said green eggs and ham? That's funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this step by step and let's do it all together, okay? So let's gather our materials. So we're gonna need graham crackers, powdered sugar, green food coloring, and green sprinkles. Let's get all that first and give me a big thumbs up. Okay, we're gonna need graham crackers, powdered sugar, green food coloring, and green sprinkles. Okay, and remember to give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We have ten thumbs up. Let's try to get some more. Do we need the food color? Need the food coloring we got. Um, it's not necessarily needed, but it does make our frosting green. So, and I think that's a really fun part of St. Patrick's Day. So I think we should all do it. Okay. So the gel food coloring is okay, yes. And do we need a bowl? Yes, you do, because we will be making frosting. So yes. Okay, I guess we are ready to go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and I have my bowl here and I'm going to add one cup of powdered sugar into my other bowl. Woo. Perfect. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of water. So I'm just gonna use a teaspoon, a literal teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix and it is um, one cup of powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna keep mixing until it's all mixed in. So you guys can do this at home with me. It's exciting. It's gonna be super yummy. I'm getting powdered sugar everywhere. I'm so sorry. Okay. So yeah. 
And if it gets too thick, um, you can add more more water. And then if it, it if it gets way too runny, then you can add more powdered sugar. So mine's not thick enough because not all of it is um, in the mix. So I'm adding more water. Okay. Uh, hold on, I have to check the chat real quick, just to make sure, okay. Someone asked me, what am I mixing? So I am mixing how, one cup of powdered sugar in two teaspoons of water right now. And because that wasn't enough to make my frosting stick together perfectly, I added one more teaspoon of water and it is working perfectly. And it should look a little bit like this. So it's very thick and I'll exactly like frosting. Okay, how is everyone doing so far? Will you guys give me a thumbs up? If we're doing well. Okay. Two people said they're not doing well. So um, yeah, just keep mixing and add some more powdered sugar or water and it will turn out great, I promise. Okay. In the meantime, while we're just mixing, Candyland, do you have any jokes? Yes, I do. Awesome. Uh, okay, um, how can you tell if a potato is not from Ireland? <laughs> how? When it's a French fry. Oh, that's funny. That's a good one. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Do you have one more? Yep. Uh, why did the baker pour Coke into her mixer? Uh, why? She was trying to make soda bread. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so I had two people ask me what the color should be like. And right now, it should just be white because we're gonna add our food coloring in a minute, okay? So now, perfect timing for that question, we are going to take our food coloring. Obviously, because it's St. Patrick's Day, I decided to choose green, and I'm going to take four to five drops, which I know seems like a lot, but two, it's St. Patrick's Day, and we gotta get all festive. Three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Um how is everyone doing? We good? Okay. If you if you have any questions, just send them to me. Can I please slow down? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Can we add a little bit of blue to make more leaf green. Absolutely. You guys can do whatever you guys need to make it fun and festive. Okay. What if it's too runny? Someone asked. Well, if it's too runny, then I would start putting more powdered sugar in it by tablespoons. So tablespoons are the biggest one. Like a tablespoon, just put 
one tablespoon and then mix it up. And if it's still too runny, add one more. But if it's not, then it's perfect. Um, okay, yeah, other people have the same question. Perfect. So, okay, awesome. What if it's too hard? Great question. And please add one teaspoon, which is like the really, really tiny teaspoon of water. And then keep mixing. And if it's still a little bit too hard, then add one more teaspoon. Um, how can you tell if it's too thick or runny? Um, well, if it's like watery, then that's too runny. And if it's too thick, it's like cookie dough. Um, I finished it. It's very pretty. Great. Someone finished it. That's wonderful. Okay. So how do I get the rainbow background? Good one. Funny. Um, that's, I'm actually not sure, but I know the rainbow backgrounds are so cool. Okay. So I think it's time that we move on. Okay. We good? Yes. Okay. So we're going to take a graham cracker. <laughs> People are saying theirs is awesome. That's wonderful. We're gonna take a graham cracker, yay. And I'm gonna stick my butter knife or spoon, whatever you have, whatever works. And I'm going to put some frosting on my graham cracker and I'm gonna frost the graham cracker like a cookie. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Someone said that hers is pink. Okay, it's cool. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Okay. So after you frost it, here comes one of my favorite parts. You take some sprinkles and you put it on there. And boom, you have your own little treat. Yay. Okay, does anybody, does anybody have any questions or need me to repeat any steps? You can type them to me in chat. Oh, and, and when you're done with it, obviously you can eat it and it's really delicious. Yummy. Okay. I think we are good to go, but just to give you guys a little bit more time, we're going to tell some jokes. So, oh, someone asked if they don't like sprinkles. You obviously don't have to put sprinkles on it. It's totally fine. Hey, Coconut, do you have any jokes? I do. Uh, so. When did a leprechaun cross the road? <laughs> Why? When the light turned green. Oh, that was a good one. What about you, uh, Pineapple? What do you call Dwayne Johnson's stunt double? I don't know. The sham rock. <laughs> For all of you guys who don't know, and need a little bit of elaboration. The Rock is like the same person who played, what's his name, like Maui in Moana, right? Yeah, okay. It's a great movie. A little off topic, but it's a great movie. Um, Papaya, do you have any jokes? Yes, I do. Okay. What do you call a lep, okay. What do you call leprechaun that's happy wearing green? <laughs> I don't know, what? A uh, jolly green giant. <laughs> Sounds good. That's wonderful. Okay. I have time for one more joke. Um, Temmie, do you have a joke? Oh. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys caught that, but I just spilled frosting all over me. But that's okay. Okay. Um, people are asking me 
what they can do with the sprinkles. You guys can do literally whatever you guys want with the sprinkles. Um, no, sweetie. Okay, someone said they put tablespoons of water in a still to watery. Okay, if it's watery, then put powdered sugar. And if it's too thick, then put water. And do it by, do the water by teaspoons. So it's like the little, little ones. Not, not tablespoons, teaspoons. Okay, well, thank you for making a snack with me today. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my good friend, Chupacabra. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Chupacabra. Thank you for that history lesson avocado and that leprechaun treat was delicious, yum. Let's talk about friendship. What is friendship? Friendship is a powerful bond that is formed and felt between people. These people become friends. The definition of a true friend is someone who has your back no matter what. They watch out for you and ensure they're not in any danger. They will never purposely lead you into making decisions that aren't good for you. A true friend will always have your best interests at heart. We are all so lucky that we have Girl Scout sisters and friends all around the country. I live in California. That's why my name is Chupacabra, California. Let's find out where all of our other friends on this Zoom are from. Go ahead and send me in the chat box what state you live in, and I'll read off a few. Cali oh, a lot of people from California. North Carolina, Michigan. You were born in Texas. I really want to go to Texas for some reason. Alabama, South Carolina. A lot of people live in California. Rhode Island, Oregon, Illinois, Arizona. I want to go to Arizona too. Maryland. More Illinois. Iowa. New York, oh, you live in New York. Chicago. And Colorado. More Colorado. That is a lot, oh my God. Wow, we sure do have friends from all over the country attending our friendship magic party. That is amazing. There are those people who say friendship is magic. Give me a thumbs up if you think friendship is magic. Me too. There are elements that make a friendship magic. These elements are laughter, kindness, generosity, honesty, and loyalty. We are going to design a necklace which will represent those magical elements. This will be a friendship necklace rather than a friendship bracelet. Let's get our materials. And remember to have your safe adult help you with this part. Here is our material list. We'll need needle, thread, scissors, lucky charms, and a paper plate. Great, you should have your needle threaded already. Just like mine. Here it is, it's already threaded. You will need the thread to be 40 inches long because when you fold it in half and tie the knot, it will be 20 inches long. Let me give you a second to collect your materials. Go ahead and pour a couple of cups of your cereal on your plate. Be sure to have a rainbow, a heart, the horseshoe, the moon, the unicorn, and the four leaf clover. The four leaf clover represents laughter. The heart represents kindness. The moon represents generosity. The unicorn represents honesty. The rainbow represents loyalty. Next, we're going to find all the pieces with cereal with holes in them. This is what they look like. They have a hole and you'll need about 40 of those. I just put them in a cup instead of a plate, but. Let's make a pile of those. I think I already said that for you. I'm going to build my necklace. 
Let's do it together. Oh, give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready to start to make the necklace. I don't want to rush you guys. Okay, let's start to make our necklace. So here we have the needle and I'm gonna hold the end as well. And we're gonna add 15 of the cereals with holes. So just like that. And it goes one like that. So we're gonna add 15 of those. So I already have one, two, three, and be careful not to stab your finger. Four, five, six, seven. This is how it looks so far. Eight, nine, ten. And I need five more, and then we'll start to add the little marshmallows. If I'm going too fast, please tell me and I'll slow down. All right, so I have put 15 of the cereals. I will slow down, I think I'm going too fast. If you girls have already completed this step, please show me in your camera. I see one person. Okay, I'll slow down. I'll give you girls a couple of minutes to get these on. Who wants to hear some jokes? I'm gonna say a joke and then I'll have some of my Girl Scout sisters also share some jokes. So, I don't have any jokes that are um, St. Patrick's Day themed, but I do have other friendly kid jokes. So, one joke, do I, one joke I have is, where do cows go on Friday nights? Where do you think they go on Friday nights? One of my Girl Scout sisters can answer or the movies. Yes. The movies. Wait, actually? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And I have another one. Why did the pictures go to prison? Anyone can type in the chat if they know. Oh, I see people raising their hands. Please type in the chat. I'll say it again. Why they were framed. Yes. Sweet Tart got it and Kit Kat. You guys got it right. They were framed. All right, any of my other Girl Scout sisters? Coconut, can you share a joke, please? Yeah, sure. What do you call a bad Irish dance? Uh, a jig mistake. Oh, that's a good one. All right, girls, if you guys are ready, please type in the chat and we'll start to add the marshmallows. Okay, I see someone's ready. Okay, a lot of ready. Okay, let's move on. Oh, someone's not ready. Me, watermelon. Okay, what marshmallows use? The marshmallows are these, the ones that are in the Lucky Charms. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to gently and carefully add the four leaf clover. So we're just going to stab it really gently like that and pull it on. I'm gonna try not to break it, but I don't think it'll break. 
So there it is. And remember, the four leaf clover represents laughter. Speaking of laughter, I'll say another joke. Okay, what do you call a cheese that's not your cheese? Anyone can type it in the chat or one of my girls get sisters can answer. Nacho cheese, yes, they all got it right. Papaya, do you have a joke? Yes, okay. What kind of rainbow can't you talk? Oh, wait, no, hold on, different. What do you call a big Irish spider? I don't know, what is it? Patty long legs. Oh, that's funny. Okay, now we're gonna add another one of our cereals with a circle. I'm just going to put it through. Next, we're gonna add the heart marshmallow. And the heart represents kindness. So I'm just gonna throw this there. And that's how it looks so far. Looking great, girls. Let's keep going. Next, we're gonna add the moon. And, sorry. <laughs> And the moon is for generosity. Oh, I always have myself. Oops. Oh no, okay, there we go. And that's how it looks. I'm ready for another joke. So Candyland, do you have another joke? Yes, I do. Um. Uh, how can you tell an Irishman is having a good time? How? He's doubling over with laughter. Oh, I like that. Um, Temi, do you have a joke? Yeah, I have a joke. He's got a good one. So Knock, knock. Who's there? Irish. Irish you. Irish you a uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I like that. Okay. Um, if you don't have any moons, it's fine if, if they all broke. But wait, did all of them break? Because, well, but it's fine if you don't have it. Oh, they did all break. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Oh, I someone typed a joke. Why do you never shower with the Pokemon? Because they will peek at you. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna add another circle with the hole, just like that, after the moon. Next, we're gonna add the unicorn, and this one probably is my favorite because it's for honesty. Clap that. Oh, don't break. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add the rainbow and the horseshoe. Oh, someone already finished. Oh, okay, I don't think you can add the rainbow or the horseshoe because they just break. So now these are all the marshmallows that we're gonna have. And now we're gonna add 15 more pieces of the cereal with the circles. But that one has a really small circle. I'll get another one. All right, so now we're just gonna fill it up back with 15 more. What if I don't have cereal? Um, do you not have any more of uh, the cereal that the Lucky Charms came with? Because if you don't, I mean, it's fine. 
What do you call a bow that doesn't tie? A rainbow. That was a good one. I don't have lucky charms. Oh, you don't have lucky charms then. Uh, I guess you can't make the necklace then. I'm sorry. No, no. It's okay if you don't though, because you can do all the other activities. So I'll make a half one, two, six, five, six. I need a few more and then we'll tie it and then it will be done. It won't let me turn my camera on. Um, all of our marshmallows broke into, oh, my, my rainbow and my horseshoe broke. So it's okay. You can just make um, a necklace with just cereal if you want. Why can't you ask a leprechaun for money? Because they're a little short. I <laughs> that's funny. They are pretty short. Okay. Oh, I think I have fifteen already. Maybe. Why do you never shower with the Pokemon? Because it will peek at you. All right, girls, so I think we are done with our necklace. If you girls are done, please show it in the camera or give me a thumbs up. Oh my God, it looks so good. Very cute. You guys did really good. All right, so now we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut the needle off. So, ah, I'm just gonna put it there. I want to show on the camera. Okay. How is that cutting? Okay, there we go. So I cut the needle off. Oh, that's dangerous. Why did the person think they were a plant? Because they had a green thumb. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Okay, so now we're going to tie it. And since you girls have your trusted adult with you, they can help you tie it. Oh my God. I'm not going to put my necklace on. You girls can. So we're just gonna tie it. And then when you tie it, you can put it on and then it will be complete. How do you catch a unique rabbit? How do you catch it? Unique upon it. <laughs> Why shouldn't you iron a four leaf clover? Because you shouldn't press your luck. Oh, I like that. What is the tallest building? I don't know, what is the tallest building? I made a bracelet instead. Oh yeah, that's fine. I prefer a bracelet too over the necklace, just because, I don't know. I don't really have a lot of bracelets. A library because it has much stories. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Do you girls like to read? Because personally, I'm not a fan of reading. It's really bad. <laughs> I 
Okay, once you girls knot it, you can put it on. Go ahead and make sure everything is in the middle of the necklace. So now you can put it on and I love it. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy to share this with all of you. Thank you for making a friendship necklace with me. Okay, my magical friends, it's time to hand you off to my friend, Temi. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Temi. We have learned about St. Patrick's Day and about friendship. Now it's time to learn about magic. Give me a thumbs up if you love magic. Great. This magic trick is called the disappearing coin trick. Okay, oopsies. Let me demonstrate. So I have the coin and I place it in my hand. And then one, two, three. It's gone. Let me show you again. I got a new coin. Yeah. So I place it in, yeah, I place it in my hand. Yeah. And then one, two, three. It's gone. Now, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you want to learn how to do that. Great. We love people who love magic. Anyway, for this trick, you need the following materials. A coin. Yes, very surprising. Now, go ahead and grab your coin now. I dropped my phone. That's okay. Okay, I'll wait for you guys to get your beautiful coin. I have a quarter, but any coin works. You could get penny, nickel. Ooh, yes. So we have a joke as I, you guys get your coin. What type of bow can never be tied? A rainbow from Lollipop, California. That is a lovely joke. Anyway, so now it's time to show you how to do the disappearing coin trick. So you have to have your coin in one of your hands. I like to do it personally in my right hand. And I just have my pointer and thumb holding it. And you just show off your coin. Super magical. And then you get your other hand and you get ready to lay it down. But instead of like actually laying it down, you just slide it, you let go of it and then just falls into your palm on your right hand. And so you just let go of it and it's on your hand. Then you close the hand that the coin isn't in where you fake placed it. And then you do something like, I'm gonna make it disappear. Whew. Or what I did, the one, two, three, or just abracadabra. And then you're like, it's gone, but it's in your other hand. Yes. So now let's try it on your own. So I'll say, say the steps out loud. Show off the coin, place it in your hand, close your hand, do something, disappear the coin. Good job. Now, let's all do it together one more time. Show off the coin, place it in your hand, whoo, disappears. Now, that was really fun, guys. And you guys can keep practicing, show off to all your friends. 
disappearing coin. Now, thank you for practicing with me today. And I will pass you on to my friend, Sunset. Bye, friends. Hello, my magical friends. My name is Sunset. That was fun. Have you ever found a four-leaf clover? When you find a four-leaf clover, it is one of those exciting experiences that give you an adrenaline rush, feelings of happiness, and a bit of mystery, as this little treasure is rich in meaning and symbolism. Due to its rarity and difficulty to find one, the four-leaf clover has become something magical, mystical, and many consider it a lucky charm. It is not known what is the cause that determines the formation of the extra leaflets, which are usually smaller than the three main ones. Next, we are going to make our own clover craft. It's a stained glass window clover. You will need the following materials, a ruler, black marker or Sharpie, colored pencils or crayons, and the four leaf clover printout. Go ahead and grab your materials now. Give me a thumbs up when you have your materials and are ready to go. Great. Our first step will be to place your paper with your clover printed out on it on a flat surface you can work on and put your ruler across it. Next, you're going to make a line with your Sharpie or marker and your ruler, making sure it's straight and it goes, grows across your paper. Like that. Just the line across your paper. <laughs> okay, now you're going to repeat the step of doing a, a straight line with your ruler across your paper three to four more times in varying directions. Your line should crisscross and overlap in multiple different ways and go all across your paper. Remember, the more lines you do, the more detailed your clover stained glass window will be, but the longer it will take. Okay, I have my clover with lines going all across the paper through it. Like this. And now I'm going to color it in. When coloring your clover, you are going to choose all the sections that have lines through it that are a clover, and you're gonna color each section in different shades of green. So I have my color pencils here. You want a decent fit so that you have multiple different colors. Make sure when you do your lines, they go up all across the paper, not just on your clover, but through the paper as well, like this. And now I'm going to be coloring it in. In the clover areas, any shade of green you want. Make sure to have many shades of green, and this may take a little bit, but remember to color inside your lines. Do you girls want to hear a joke? Yeah. <laughs> what type of rainbow can't be tied? What type of bow can't be tied? I just messed that up. <laughs> a rainbow. Does Coconut have any jokes for me? I do. Um, what did the leprechauns say when the 
video game ended. What? Game. Did you hear me? No. Oh, I said game clover. <laughs> game clover. It's a word pun. What about Candyland? Do you have any funny jokes for me? Yes, I do. Why do people wear shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day? Why? Because real rocks are too heavy. Oh, yeah. Shamrock. Green is such a pretty color. The color of nature and leaves. And in this case, a clover. It's my little brother's favorite color, actually. Do you girls want to hear another joke? <laughs> what does a leprechaun, when does the leprechaun cross the street? When it turns green. Chupacabra, do you have any funny jokes? I do. Okay. If a, oh, wait. Okay. If a seagull flies over the sea, what flies over the isn't it bagel? Yes. I feel like I said that joke. <laughs> Remember to use different shades of green. I'm using all of one color at once, just because that's easier so I don't have to alternate between them, but I have them in different sections. So I have my light green in different areas where they're not touching, and I just started with a darker green color. So I have only a little bit of that. And I'm going to keep using it all around on my clover. What do you call a fake Irish diamond? A shamrock. <laughs> Papaya, do you have any funny jokes? Yes, OK. What is a leprechaun's favorite type of music? What? Shamrock and roll. <laughs> What's the best position for leprechauns to play on a back baseball team? Ooh, I Short don't know. stop. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, I have a joke. Okay. <laughs> Why did St. Patrick drive the snakes out of Ireland? Why? Because he couldn't afford a, afford a plane ticket. Remember, we only want to use green on our clover because we're also going to color the outsides of the clover and we're going to have to use any color but green when we do that. I'm on my third shade of green. It's more of a lime green right now. Tammy, do you have a joke? Yes, I do. Tem Tem's very funny. Of course. <laughs> Why do frogs like St. Patrick's Day? Why? Because they always wear green. They do. True. They don't have to worry about being on theme or Pitch. color. They always are. <laughs> I mean, do you like the color green? I do. I think it's very nice. I think it's very nice as well. My favorite color is purple. What's your favorite color? I like blue. I think I already knew that. 
Really? <laughs> blue is kind of like green. Not entirely, but green and yellow make, not yeah. green and yellow, blue and yellow make green. Yeah, they do. They are similar. Although. Unless you like green and like green or something. I don't know. <laughs> green and yellow do make green. So I wasn't wrong. <laughs> yes. My clover is almost finished, colored in all green. And then I can start on my outside, filling it in with blue for Temmy and purple for me. And what other colors? Pink? I like pink. I used to have a pink room when I was little. It was so fun. Avocado, do you have another joke? I do. Okay. Um, why, uh, how do musicians show off on St. Patrick's Day? They play their brag pipes. Their brag pipes. It's not very nice and they shouldn't be showing off. It should be helping their fellow people and teaching them how to improve their skill. Don't you think so, Avocado? Pineapple, do you have a joke for me? Yeah, why do leprechauns hate running? Why? They'd rather jig than jog. <laughs> Okay, girls. So I finished color, cl coloring my clover, and now I'm gonna start by coloring in the outside in any color but green. I'm gonna start with this pretty blue. Make sure to take your time because we don't want it to look messy or anything like that. We want it to look like there's multiple different pieces of color put together to make our beautiful design. Pineapple, do you have another joke for me? Yeah, what do you call a leprechaun who is sent to jail? What? A leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, I get that. What do you do? I don't know. Um, Did he give someone a shamrock instead of a diamond? <laughs> yeah. Chupacabra, do you have any jokes? I do. Okay. What kind of room doesn't have doors? What kind? A mushroom. A mushroom. <laughs> How small would the leprechauns have to be to be in a mushroom? <laughs> Either it's a really huge mushroom or really, really, really small leprechaun. I mean, they'd have to be less than like a foot tall. Imagine how tiny that is. I'm like a little over five feet tall. They would have to be so small. They would be smaller than my cat. My cat would eat them for fun. That doesn't sound very safe for them. What do you think, Papaya? Does that sound safe? for leprechauns? No, not at all. No. Cats would be like, ooh, is this a new little mouse for me to play with? Hey, Sunset, when you were in school, did um, did you ever make leprechaun traps? Yes, it was so fun. I made a bunch. Yeah, it was always it was so my fun. favorite. I remember once, it was the most bizarre thing that happened to me. So I was, I was maybe in like 
second grade and I was eating yogurt at the table and my mom was in the other room and my brothers weren't home. And then suddenly ice just fell from the ice machine. And I was like, is this like a leprechaun or a ghost or something? Cause it was like leprechaun time. And I remember I wrote to our class leprechaun and he said he visited our house. And I was, I mean, I thought it was kind of cool but I was also kind of terrified that this guy got into our house and messed with the ice machine when I was in the other room. And yeah, I still didn't see him. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Not even joking. It was terrifying. I was like, you seriously were at my house? Because no one else was there. Just me. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Temmie, did you ever meet a leprechaun or have a leprechaun do anything? Temmie. Temmie. Never mind. Chupacabra, do you have another joke? Yes. Okay. How can you make a tissue dance? How do you make a tissue dance? Ah. You put a little boogie in it. Should have been a jig. But that wouldn't work for the joke, so never mind. That would be more leprechaun, but it wouldn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. I'm so close. It looks so pretty, don't you guys think? Oh, I like it. I still have to finish coloring in two or three more sections, but then it'll look so beautiful and amazing. Here I have a joke. You do? Yeah. What is it? What happens if you cross? Cross poison ivy and a four leaf clover. What? You get a. You get a rash of good luck. That doesn't sound very lucky to me. We like every time your leg itches or something, suddenly something good happens. But I don't know if I'd find that worth it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever found a four leaf clover. And it's really sad because I remember when I was in like, I think I was in third grade, my friends and I spent the entire lunch period looking for a four leaf clover in the lawn. The entire time we ran around looking everywhere and I never found one. And the next day when my friends went out again and I like gave up and decided to play and do something else, they found one without me. <laughs> and it was so sad because I really wanted one, but I never got it because I guess I'm just so lucky already I didn't need it. I mean, that's fully possible. I mean, I'm just so amazing and lucky and like gifted and amazing that they were like, Mm, we'll save this for someone else. You guys think that's what happened, right? Pineapple, you think that's why I never found one. <laughs> I'm so close. I have two more sections left. And then my beautiful clover will be done. And then I can frame it and put it in my room. Show my friends. They'll think it's so cool. They'll be like, mm, I don't even need to find a real clover. This one's even better. Like, can't top it. The original is great, but this is better. Hey, Coconut, you got a joke for me? I do. Give me one second. How do musicians show off on St. Patrick's Day? How? They play their brag pipes. So original. Why no? <laughs> um, okay. 
I don't know if this has been said, but I really like this joke. It just because it's funny. What do ghosts drink on St. Patrick's Day? What? Booze. <laughs> okay, girls. I finished coloring mine in. <laughs> and give me a thumbs up if you are done, too. Show me your masterpieces, even if they're not finished. Show them up to the camera. They're all so beautiful and amazing. I love them. Now it's time for me to hand you off to my friend Candyland. Hi again, my magical friends. It's Candyland. That was fun. Thanks, Sunset. Next, we are going to play St. Patrick's Day Bingo. And let me turn off my background one second. One, hold on one second. Um, please grab a bingo card that looks like this and your rainbow Skittles. Remember we learned from Chupacabra that rainbows represent loyalty. Before we get into the rules, dump out your Skittles and grab your green ones. If you don't have enough green, you can use any color you want. Let me go over the rules of the game. Here's my bingo card. I'm going to call out the bingo squares one at a time. Please use your Skittles as the markers. You could get a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal bingos. Okay, let's play. Here's a pot of gold. A rainbow heart. A tie. A rainbow donut. Oh, good job. You guys already have bingos. Wow. Wow, we have a lot of bingos. Let's keep going and go for a blackout. We'll keep Uh, the second one was a rainbow heart. Yeah, okay, I can repeat the ones that I've already called. So the first the first one was a pot of gold. The second one was a rainbow heart, which looks like this. Then there was a tie. Then there was a rainbow donut. And then the teacup. Rem remember to show me your thumbs up when you get blackout. Oh wait, uh, dang it. Uh, 
So blackout means that will cover all the bingo squares. Okay, then I'll keep, okay. Um, the letter T. The letter R. Potato. <laughs> hey, Trooper Copper, do we have any bingos or blackouts? I can't see. I don't see anything in my chat. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> the gnome. The gold coin. The letter C. Cup with the rainbow straw. Okay, that's cool. Mocha Mochi got a bingo. Okay. And marshmallow. And uh, wow, a lot of you guys got a bingo. Wow. Oh, I got one bingo in my chat. Bingo. Have you guys gotten a blackout yet? Type it in the chat to either Candyland or Chupacabra. I have two bingos. I don't see any blackouts yet. Another bingo. Okay, so then the next one's a Clover Sugar Cookie. A little boy. Got another bingo. Uh, the letter seven. Your bingo. Another bingo. The hat. Another bingo, another bingo. The letter S. The love sign. Oh, someone has a blackout. Okay. Um, that was fun. Thank you for playing. Great job, girls. I hope you had fun. Don't eat your Skittles yet. We have one more thing to do with them. Okay, my, my magical friends, it is time for me to hand you off to my friend, Papaya. Hi again, my magical friends. Today, we're gonna learn about rainbows as they relate to St. Patrick's Day. What is a rainbow? A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon 
that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets, resulting in a spectrum of light that appears in the sky. It takes the form of a multicolored circular arc. Rainbows caused by sunlight always appear in the section of the sky directly opposite of the sun. Often you'll see rainbows in an image related to St. Patrick's Day. They often end with a pot of gold, similar to my background behind me. The legend states that if you can find the true beginning or end of a rainbow, you'll be rewarded with a pot of gold. Did you know the colors of the rainbow always show up in, show up in the same order? They are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Let's go ahead and separate our Skittles from our bingo card into a pile so each one has its own color. We are gonna create our own rainbow. So let's grab our materials. In addition to the Skittles, we will need a piece of blue paper like the sky and approximately 20 mini marshmallows. So go ahead and grab those and give me a thumbs up when you got it. You will notice that we don't have all of the colors of the rainbow in the Skittles, but we are going to use the colors we do have and make our own rainbow using the order of the true rainbow colors. So let's go ahead and build our rainbow. There's a sample picture of the rainbow that we're gonna be building on screen. And while we're building our rainbow, does anyone have some jokes for me? I do. What is it? Um, why did the leprechaun open, wait, why did the leprechaun open his umbrella? Why? He walked under the rainbow, a rainbow. Oh, that's a good one. Coconut, do you have a joke? I do, give me one second. All right. Why do leprechauns love to garden? Why? They have green thumbs. Oh, that's a cute one. Chupacabra, do you have a joke? I do. I think I have like one more. I need to get more. Okay. Why do vampires seem sick all the time? Why? Because they're always in coffins. Oh, that's a good one. So you've got a few jokes in the chat. One says, how does the ocean say hi? And it says they wave. Sunset, do you have a joke? I do. What is it? When do leprechauns feel shame on it on St. Patrick's Day? When? Because if well, why did leprechaun feel shame on itself on St. Patrick's Day? Okay, why? Because it found a shamrock. Oh, okay. Avocado, do you have a joke? I do. And that was a really good joke, Sunset. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. Where is it? Oh, okay. Um, what do you call a leprechaun that broke the law? What? A leprechaun. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah.
Let's see if we got any more jokes in the chat. I got a joke. What is it? Um, it is, what do bats use to communicate? What? <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Google Hangouts. Oh, that is a good one. That's a really good one. I love that. Okay. Let's see if I have any jokes. Sure, I have one. Okay, what is it? Where did the lazy leprechaun find gold? Where? The dictionary. Oh, that's cute. I'm just working on my clouds right now with my marshmallows. Okay. Someone asked me how we fold um, a cutie catcher and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that in a while. Just let mm -hmm. me know. How are you guys' rainbows doing? I bet they look beautiful. So give me a thumbs up if you're done with your rainbow. I'm gonna go ahead and show you mine. Let me take off my background. Okay, let's see. Don't know if you can see that, but there's my rainbow with the Skittles and the marshmallows. Hey, Papaya, I got a question from one of the kids. What's the question? Uh, they said, are we supposed to glue the Skittles down or no? No, you're just setting them on. I'm pretty sure you could like eat them later. So, okay, I think everyone's done. Great job. Now you have your own magical rainbow. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend, Avocado. Okay, hello. Ooh. I need to take off my virtual background. One second. Um, okay, cool. We are currently located in my kitchen. So, yeah, okay. We're gonna start there. Awesome. Well, hi again, my magical friends. It's Avocado. Next, we are gonna play one of my favorite games, okay? Oh, this keeps falling off. Okay. Next, we're going to um, build a Lucky Charm catapult. All right, I've already built one, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So, it's, it looks super fun. So, we need to get some materials first. For this thing, you're going to have to get eight popsicle sticks, 10 rubber bands, or 20 rainbow loom bands one plastic spoon and Lucky Charms and one bowl. So go ahead and get that and give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, if you don't have popsicle sticks, you need to get some sort of stick or you need to get some sticks, either outside or, um, I don't think anything else would work. And I'm, I, I, I just thought of like using a butter knife, but that would actually not be safe. So like, I'd stick with like sticks from trees. And it's okay if you don't have like materials. Okay, if you don't have pop popsicle sticks or Lucky Charms, then I think that you, we are just gonna have to watch other people play this game, and but we can still laugh at the jokes and have fun together, okay? Give me a big thumbs up if you're ready to go. Okay. 
Sorry, I have, a, I have a couple thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Someone told me to not move on, but we're gonna have to move on in, I'm gonna say 30 seconds, so. Yeah. yeah. Someone asked me what supplies do you need? Um, as I said before, um, you need 10 rubber bands, eight popsicle sticks, one plastic spoon, and lucky charms, and one bowl. So, well, I'm not, can you stop? You need to stop. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, give me, is everyone ready? We're good? Okay. Awesome. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys all here. Okay, so we have all of our materials here. And so when talking about Lucky Charms, which is a delicious cereal, it is referring to the little charms or marshmallows in the cereal, like they're in here, like the unicorn, the shamrock, the rainbow, etc. Those are the Lucky Charms. So since we're gonna make a Lucky Charm catapult, I decided to use the Lucky Charm part of the cereal. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So we're going to take eight popsicle sticks and stick them on, on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And make sure that they're all aligned. Here, I'll show you. It's really hard to keep them in line. Okay, like this. Like they're a little block. That that's perfect. I see a lot of you guys are doing it perfect. And after stacking them on top of each other, take either one rubber band or two rainbow loom bands and tie it twice around one. And I'm actually going to show you guys so that everyone understands. Here is my block of popsicle sticks, and here are my two rainbow loom bands. Um, I put it around, wrap it once, and that's twice, and I let go. And now one side is sealed. And you need to have eight sticks. Does that make sense with the one side? Oh, oh, you're right, you're right, you're totally right. Someone um, told me that I only requested eight in total. So <laughs> I think you actually have to do five. So do five instead of eight, right? Yeah, five. Yeah, I'll redo it with you guys. Take a few off. Going. Okay. Does anyone not understand how to tie the sticks together? No? Perfect. Okay. So we all have these. We had the, there's two sides to the block. One of them is already tied together. So of course, we have to tie the other side. So do the exact same thing. Take a rubber, band, a rubber band or two rainbow loom bands. I have to take two and wrap it around twice so that the stack is all together in one block.
Okay. I see a lot of you guys are doing great. Now we can continue. We're good? Give me a thumbs up if you're good with this. See a lot of thumbs up. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, so we have our block. And now we're just going to set that to the side for a minute while we work on something else. Take your spoon. My spoon is clear, but it's here, I promise and take one stick, okay? And we're gonna line up the end of the spoon and the end of the stick together so that they're matching and touching, see? And then you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did with the block of popsicle sticks. Just wrap the rubber band around over and over again until it's really, really tight. Okay, are we good? Kit Kat, Rhode Island, that looks great. Sour Patch, Rhode Island, it's pretty good, wonderful. Okay, we're gonna move on. So exactly like the, pop, the popsicle sticks, you have to tie the other end. Someone asked me to repeat the steps, absolutely. Um, I'm just gonna go a little bit faster and just kind of do it in synopsis, meaning I'm gonna put it in a summary. Take six, six blocks and tie them together with rubber bands on each side. Then take a spoon I the spoon to the um, popsicle stick. Great, we're there. That's pretty simple. Okay, we're good? Great, so we have both. Next, we're going so kind of like an X. You can like, I don't know, here, like kind of like a person. So you're just gonna like that and you're gonna wrap some rubber bands diagonally like in a figure eight so that they so the spoon sticks to the block of popsicle sticks but you want the bottom around the bottom to be the lowest so it should look not like this but something more like this okay Okay, and this takes a, a lot more rubber bands. You can use pretty much all of them. If you have any extras, use all of them up. Oh, okay. Perfect. I'll give you a minute to do that. Okay, great. Now you're gonna set up your either bowls or your cauldrons, whatever you have, it doesn't really matter, to launch your lucky charms into. So I'm just gonna set them up in a line, like so. And I have this, I have the spoon facing the bowls. And I'm gonna take one of the lucky charms for the little marshmallows and as you can see, the I'm just gonna put some pressure on the on the bottom of the bottom part of the spoon. And once you put a tiny bit of pressure on it, the top part of the spoon will lift up. So if you do it really quickly, it will launch the marshmallow forward like this. Oh, that was close. So we're gonna try again, and I'm gonna try to get it in one of the buckets. Ooh, that was close. So you can try to get one, you can try it over and over until you get one. Yay! Okay. Okay, keep setting that up and give me a thumbs up when you are almost done.
Okay, if you have any questions whatsoever, just text them. Oh, I mean, like, PM them, personal message to them to me, and I will answer them. So, and also, if you guys have any jokes, you can send them to anyone from my troop, including me, and we can read them out loud. Okay. I have a joke, avocado. Okay, perfect. What do you call a leprechaun's vacation home? <laughs> what? A leprechaun-do. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. That's good. Okay, someone asked me to show them like a close-up of the catapult. And I will do one just like this. So it looks like this when it's up straight. Like this when it's on the floor and then on a table or something it looks like that so you can like this Boop. here like this that just went all over the floor okay but yeah awesome well this was great okay my magical friends it is time for me to hand you off to my great friend chupacabra Hi, yeah, my magical friends. It's Chupacabra. Next, we're going to make a lucky cutie catcher. This is what it looks like when it's all folded and ready to play with. It's a good time to grab your trusted adult as we may need a hand with this craft. We're going to um, watch a video to show you how it folds. Today we're gonna to show you how to make a cootie catcher. The first thing you do is start with a square piece of paper. You're gonna put it in front of you like a diamond and you're gonna fold the two corners together to make a triangle. You crease that and then you switch it around and you fold it again and give it a nice crease. When you open it back up, you'll see that it's your paper is divided into four sections. What you're going to do is take each of the corners and fold them into the middle. One, two, three, four. Once they're all folded in, you're going to flip it over and you're going to take these corners and fold them into the middle. One, two, three, four. When we have it like this, then we can, I like to fold them in half just to kind of get the creases in there. So it's easier to open up. And you can lift up the flaps to put your fingers in for your cootie catcher. Thanks for watching. Isn't that awesome? Give me a thumbs up if you're excited. Now let's fold the cutie catcher. So you girl should have it already cut out and it should be a square. So we're gonna flip it on this side so where the sides blank. And we're going to fold it like that. So it's like a triangle and then we're going to
just like that. And then when you open it up, it should be, there should be a line in the middle. Then we're gonna fold it the other two sides. So where the line is, we're going to fold it again. We have to do on a flat surface, so it's like hard to show you. I'm gonna fold it again like that. So now there's four. Yeah, I see some of you girls are doing it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, you are doing really good. Okay. Now open up and then the put on flat surface. So now we're going to fold. There's four sections and we're going to fold them into the middle, if that makes sense. So uh, okay, we're going to do it like that. Just like that, we're gonna fold it into the middle. You can see that. And then we're gonna do that with all of these sides. So let me just put it on a flat surface so it comes out better. Just like that. If I'm going too fast, oh, someone's like, can you show me again? I can't do it. Um, do you have your trusted adult with you? Maybe they can help you. Okay, now we're gonna fold all the other parts in. Are you just, there are letters in here, what does it mean? I will explain what all of it means when, we do, when we're done folding it. But, so I have two in, now we're gonna fold the other ones in. Okay, so I folded all of the four pieces in. So now like they're all in the middle. So that's how it should look like. I will. Yeah, I see someone. Yeah, that's right. What's her name? Alyssa, yeah, just like that. Okay, now this is the most important part. We're going to flip it to this side now. And we're gonna do the same thing and fold the four pieces into the middle, but just on this side now. So just again, fold it. So we're gonna fold it on this side now. So just like we did on this side, but this way we're folding it. Oops, I dropped it. Folding it in the middle. Do that to all four of them. So I have two in the middle. Now I'm gonna do the other two. All right, and then that's how it should look. So they're folded and then the back side, there's like squares and this is the bottom and this will be the, the inside of the kitty catcher. Yeah, I see some of you girls did it. Yeah, good job. Hey, you guys did it. How did I just, oh God, okay. Okay, so now this part's a little tricky, but, oh wait, I forgot two steps. And then also you're going to fold, so here's this side, you're going to fold it. You're gonna fold it like this. So it's like, like that. And then we're gonna fold it like that, just so it can like, I don't know, and it's gonna look like this. You're just folding it two more times so like it gets like, I don't know, like used to its form. And then we're just gonna like undo it. Okay, so now this is the bottom of the cutie catcher. What do the letters mean? I'll explain it right now. So, okay, so now we're going to like, kind of like 
open it. I don't know how to explain it, but like this should be the inside. Kind of like fold it in. And you're gonna get the bottoms of it. This is the bottom. It should look like that, and then you do that. Okay. This one came out better, but okay. So that's how it looks, and that's how it's how it should look. It's kind of yeah, and that's yeah. I see you girls did it. Okay. Once I see more of you girls done, we're gonna play three rounds of it of the game, and like I'll teach you guys how to play. It's really simple. I haven't really played these in a while. I used to make these all the time when I was like in third grade and they were super fun. Then I forgot, but I learned again. All right, someone's done. Can okay, wait like one more minute and then I'll teach you guys how to play. So yeah, you can just basically like do that. It's pretty cool. You know how to play? Okay, if I play it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so how we're gonna play is I want you girls to, okay, so basically you girls are gonna choose a number, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna go like one, two, three, four, and then there's colors, and then you girls are gonna choose a color, and then I'm gonna like flip it open, and then there's like something inside of it that, it's like a joke or something. So in the chat, this is the first round, type one of these numbers, one, two, three, or four, and whichever one I'll see first, okay, I see one, so one. So now you guys are gonna type one of these letters and it spells out luck. So do, okay, L, okay, I see a lot of L's. So we're gonna open up L. So it's a joke and don't cheat guys, don't open up your guys' oh, I see you guys a lot doing it, it's fine. Okay, where can you always find gold? That's like the joke, I guess. Oh, someone needs help. It's not the one. A dictionary. Yes, it's a dictionary. We were. Oh my god. Okay, I see a lot of people that missed like how to make the cootie catcher. Um, I can't do it again because we're running out of time. But maybe they can send you a video on how to. Um. Uh, make it but okay so we're gonna play two more rounds so again in the chat type one of these numbers one two three or four okay i see three so one two three okay so now choose a color yellow green red or blue okay i see red so let's open up the red one okay why should you never iron a four-leaf clover who who knows it why should you never iron a four leaf clover? Don't press your luck. Exactly. And then once we're done with this, you girls can play this with your family and friends. Okay, one more round. <laughs> one, pick a number again. One, two, three, four, two. Okay, so one, two, another color, green. What do you call a fake stone in Ireland? Does anyone know? A shamrock, exactly. Okay, that was fun. Thanks for playing Cutie Catcher Games with me. It is now time for me to hand you off to my friend, Pineapple. Hi again, my magical friends, it's Pineapple. Do you ever wonder what foods they eat in different countries? I sure do. I imagine French fries in France or pizza in Italy. What do you think they eat in Ireland? I did a little bit of research and I found that Ireland is known for the following foods. Soda bread, I actually have a yummy soda bread recipe that I'm going to send to all of you. Seafood, especially shellfish, like oysters. Farm brack, a bread with dried fruits. Irish stew and boiled meat and cabbage. Maybe you've had corned beef and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day before. Corned beef is boiled meat. Since we don't have time to make any of the above meals together, I thought we could learn an Irish blessing that the Irish often say before they eat a meal together. I'll read it to you. 
May there always be work to do. May there always be work for your hands to do. May your purse always hold a coin or two. May the sun always shine on your window pane. May the rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near you. May God fill your heart with gladness to cheer you. Isn't that nice? Now you can teach that to your family. Let's play a quick game. Everybody grab your I Spy worksheet that we sent your way. It looks, let me turn on the virtual background. So this worksheet, okay. How this works is I'll call it a shape and you can count that shape and write the shape and write down how many shapes you see on the bottom of the page. For example, if I say heart, you would count the number of hearts. I count 17 hearts. Now write that number next to the, next to the hearts below. Let's play. So the first one is, we're not gonna do every single one on the page, but the first one is how many flags do you see? So count all the flags on your iSpy worksheet and tell me how many you see in the chat. So I think I see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm really bad at iSpy, but I think like nine ish or eight. Okay, I see an eight, nine, 10, nine, 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 nine. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of nine, so I'm gonna put down nine for flags. And then the next one is stars. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six stars or Maybe five stars. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of sevens, some sixes, a five, seven, six, six, seven. Okay, I think I'm seeing sixes the most, so I'm gonna put down six for stars. And then the next one is hats. So count how many hats you see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, or no, nine, I think nine. Okay, yeah, it seems like you guys agree with me. I see like a couple of nines, like four, five. Yeah, most people say nine, so I'm gonna write down nine hats. And then the last one we're gonna do is leprechauns. So count how many leprechauns you see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13? 12 or 13, I'm pretty sure. 13, 11, 11, 12, 13, 12, 12, 13. Um, Okay, it seems like the majority of people are saying 12, so that's why I'm gonna write down. And then you guys can do the rest after we're after this Zoom is over because that's all we have time for right now. And yeah, I think I think most people have the same answers. But for now we're gonna stop. So my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend Coconut. Hello, my magical friends, it's Coconut again. Who here knows about Girl Scout swaps? Give me a thumbs up if you do. That's great. Swaps are a Girl Scout tradition. They're handmade giveaways that Girl Scouts make as a token of friendship and exchange with other girls they meet. Swaps stands for special whatchamacallits affectionately pinned somewhere. Another tradition for Girl Scout sisters and friends is singing. We'll be doing that in one minute. One song I really like is a song titled Make New Friends. The first verse goes like this, make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver, the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I wanna be your friend. Since we are all together to exchange swaps, we're going to combine the above two traditions and make a silver and gold swap as a memento of our special time together with girls from all over the country. Let's get our materials. Please get your safety pin, printout, 
gold and silver pens or crayons, and a hole punch. You can use other colors too, just make sure to use some silver and gold. Don't forget to write your name on your swaps first. Hey, Sunset, do you have any jokes for me? Yeah. One second. <laughs> Why did the teacher write on the window? I don't know, why? She wanted her lessons to be perfectly clear. That was a good one. Okay, once everyone has their materials, you're going to take your printout and cut, cut out your swaps. I'm going to do that now. Hey Chupacabra, do you have any more jokes? I do. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? I don't know. Why? Because it was stuffed. Ooh, that's funny. I have one in the chat. Why did the pony take cough drops? Because he was a little horse. Okay, so give me a thumbs up when you finish cutting out your swap. Tammy, do you have any jokes? Of course I do. Hmm, what's a good one? What's big and purple and lies next to Ireland? Ireland, yeah. I don't know, what is it? Great Britain. <laughs> That's Funny. a good one. I have one. What is it, Candyland? Hold on one second. Okay. What is black and white and red all over? I don't know, what is it? A sunburnt zebra. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now that I have some girls that have finished cutting out their swaps, we're going to color them in. So here's what mine looks like. So I'm just going to color the swap. Avocado, do you have any good jokes? In fact, I do. Okay. So, um, oh, I said that one, dang it. That was a good one. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this one hasn't been said yet, which is great, but why shouldn't you borrow money from a leprechaun? I don't know. Why not? Because there's, because they're always a little short. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. Joke from the chat. Why does a leprechaun, wait, what does a leprechaun eat? Lucky Charms. What did one traffic light say to another? Don't look, I'm changing. That was a good one. Okay, once everyone finishes coloring, and if you're not finished coloring, you can always color after the Zoom session. You're going to take your hole punch and punch a hole in your swap to stick your safety pin through. Once you're finished with that, you're going to carefully take your safety pin, 
stick it through the hole, and then you can pin it anywhere you want. But I'm going to pin mine on my shirt to remind me of my fun day with everyone here. I have some girls telling me they don't have a hole punch. That's okay. You don't need one. You can, you can either stick the pin through or you can just keep the swap on a piece of paper. Can everyone show me their swaps? Those look awesome. I love them. You can pin your swaps to your vest or you can just keep them as a memento. Thank you for crafting with me. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend, Sunset. And my magical friends, it's sunset. Who here has made a leprechaun trap? Give me a thumbs up if you have. Leprechaun traps are crafts used to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The traps are set up at, up the night before St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day and children awaken to discover signs that leprechauns have visited the trap. According to the tradition, one must believe leprechauns are real to trap one. It is also believed that leprechauns love gold and trickery and may steal or hide items unless captured, pleased, or scared away. Once trapped, leprechauns may grant three wishes. The traps are typically made out of common household items that can be easily found or purchased. The traps are typically green and gold and feature the stereotypical leprechaun items, gold coins, rainbows, top hats, and four leaf clovers. Let's watch a video on how to make a leprechaun trap. This St. Patrick's Day, we'll show you how to make a handy trap to catch sneaky leprechauns. For this craft, you will need construction paper and pipe cleaners. To start, use a paper plate to trace a circle onto a sheet of green construction paper and cut it out. Roll up a second sheet of green construction paper and glue the ends together. Next, cut a long rectangle shape out of dark construction paper and make a band for the hat. Time to make the buckle! Cut a square shape out of yellow construction paper and draw a smaller square inside of it. Cut out the middle. Now glue the buckle to the hat band and glue the completed hat band to the base of the hat. Great job! Next, use your glue gun to glue the base of the hat onto the brim. Wow! A leprechaun hat! For the next step, arrange two black pipe cleaners for the sides of the ladder. Take all your pipe cleaners and lay them out. Next, starting with the middle of the ladder, twist each end of the pipe cleaner to connect each side of the ladder. Repeat with the rest of the pipe cleaners. Once you've completed the ladder, bend it to create a curve and glue the end to the top of the hat. Last step is to make the sign. Cut out a piece of yellow construction paper and write your message onto it. Free gold! Hee <laughs> hee! That's sure to trick those sneaky leprechauns! Glue it to a pipe cleaner and then glue the pipe cleaner to the inside of the hat. You're done! Happy St. Patrick's Day from Junior Mojo! That looks like fun. I want to build one of those before St. Patrick's Day. I'll send you that link in the follow-up materials we will send your way. You know what? It wouldn't be a friendship magic party without learning our leprechaun names. Look at the screen. Here you can find out your leprechaun names. 
take the last letter of your first name. My name is Sunset, so the last letter is T. That makes my first name peevish. Next, we're going to look at the first letter. Next, we're going to look at the first letter of your last name. For the purpose of the event, my last name is California. So my last name is O Rainbow. That makes my full leprechaun name Peevish O Rainbow. I like it. Can you find out your leprechaun name? Type it to me in the chat box and I'll read some out loud. Greeny O Blades, that's a great name. Stumpu McCoozy, Marty McNob, Sprinkles McSmelly. Thank you for playing with me. I had a lot of fun. Okay, my magical friends, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend, Tammy. Uh, okay. Hi again, my magical friends. It's Temi. Wow, that was so fun. I want to do it again. I'm also excited that we learned so much. We will be sending you some fun follow-up material so you can continue to explore the friendship magic that's around St. Patrick's Day. Congratulations on earning your friendship magic badges. Before we leave, let's share a friendship song together called Make New Friends. Now can everyone unmute themselves? Hopefully it's not too ridiculous for the singing all together. joining us today. We had a great time with all of you. Farewell, guys. Bye. Bye.